Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, where you like, subscribe, and share, bell notification, and comment down below. We're the number one YouTube crypto influencer in social media and on YouTube because of his truth and integrity that this company is built on. With a Have you been tricked, manipulated, fleece heisted and shisted by a cryptocurrency influencer and a master trader like this guy? Manipulation and misinformation is the name of the game for these kind of crypto influencers that tell you to buy a bankrupt Celsius and goes down 99%. Then they say, buy my Ben.eth coin and went down 99% as predicted and sitting at zero. Do you ever wonder how somebody with 1.45 million subscribers can only get 2.5% of his audience to view each video? That's because his audience can only be fleece heisted and shisted for so long before people stop viewing his nonsense, misinformation, uh, manipulation, and uh, orchestrating and fleecing. Probability-based, industry-exclusive, company-made trading system and strategy. You got to hit that like button to continue moving us through that elusive YouTube sphere. As we continue to bring the breaking news, the coin updates, the gold and silver bullion market, the stock market, the housing market. What is that old dirty Federal Reserve doing? And Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Fed, we get into the financials, the banking. We uncover and uh, expose paid promoters, YouTube uh, influencers that have been infiltrated by the criminal gangster cartel. Uh, that has also infiltrated the United States government, the Federal Reserve, and the world banking system in order to manipulate the cryptocurrency market, the stock market, and the gold and silver bullion market. And here's an update from Ripple Gears Up to face off with the SEC. Uh, the Ripple Legal Council has said that Ripple is ready at any time for trial in the second quarter of 2024 in an open letter to the Judge Torres of the United States. District Court, Southern District of New York, right? Ripple is available for trial throughout specific periods, indicating and no black updates. The announcement follows a series of developments in the ongoing litigation. Only a day prior, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse bolstered his defense by enlisting two leading attorneys from the prestigious Dean and Hamilton LLP, uh, Mr. Schulman. And Caleb J. Robertson have both expressed their intentions to represent Garling House, right? However, the roads ahead are not without challenge. Without challenges, the formidable regulatory agency has recently taken steps to appeal a previous decision by the legendary Judge Torres that indicted and exploded a massive pump on epic proportions in top five moves for one day of nearly. 100% in XRP and 110% for XLM. The, this comes after the court ruled that XRP coin sale and digital platforms did not qualify as an unregistered security, snubbing the SEC's argument. A report by USA Today, the SEC, efforts to seek appeal were recently granted by the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. The SEC has, the SEC has already formally requested the appeal. But the court has yet to authorize it, which this is just the process that we were talking about. And then we see uh, XRP Ledger smashes big milestone, 82 million ledgers reach. XRP Ledger has successfully closed the 82 million ledger, marking a significant milestone. The current ledger index is 82,035 and 421, according to XRP Services. And XRP, I'll explore as previously reported, XRP closed its $81 million ledger last month, which was celebrated by the ecosystem. The most recent milestone suggests that XRP, I'll added a million ledgers in just over a month, which is still a tremendous achievement. XRP ledger, also known as XRP, out, was founded in June 2012 and celebrated its 11th birthday this June. The number of XRP accounts has also reached a new high, currently standing at 4,753,489 of those 1,082 uh, contain zero XRP, while the remaining accounts contain 54,482,221,185 XRP, right? So that's very important and very uh, 
very, very good news. The more people that buy, the more people that hold, the stronger the price can be. And you can see now what's going on is remember what we were talking about the last couple of days since the great dump that we were forecasting and out ahead of the crypto charlatans and influencers that are out there. And that's why this channel, this uh, uh, company here is the best when it comes to breaking news, coin updates, blockchain technology, and the truth on where the price is going to go, albeit I'm not a financial advisor. No, I went on this radio show. These are strictly my own personal opinions on the market, right? But we let you know that this price was going to come down and all did it come down. But then what we started talking to you about the other day, now you can start to see it come in. Look at the short term moving average, the 50 day in red there. It's trending significantly down. Now you can see it have the rounding top there as the price was consolidating down and now it's forcefully each day is moving down and in the next two or three days like we were talking about when it was up here starting to turn that this short-term moving average is going to cross this 200 day moving or the 100 day moving average in blue so the 50 in red is going to cross and get underneath now instead of being on top of the 100 day in blue and then a few short days later the 50 is going to be underneath the 100 in blue and then it is going to cross and go underneath the 200 day and then you're going to have the 200 day up here the 100 day below it and the 50 day below that right and that hasn't happened since about a the last time that that happened was in the way way left machine we went over this yesterday too it was way back here in april you can see even as the price was starting to level off in the daily the short-term moving average came up and got on top of the 100 day moving average and blew briefly but then fell back below it and then stayed below it until about march into april of 2023 and then you can see the short-term moving average skyrocket over uh the 50-day moving average in red skyrocketing over the medium range moving average of the 100 day in blue and then it crossed over in early April, just on the onset of April, and got on top of, for the first time uh, in a long time, got on top of the 200 day, and then it was the 50 day, the 100 day, and the 200 day below it. When the 200 day below is below uh, the 100, and then the 50 day is on top of the 100, that is very bullish, telling you that the price is probably going to continue up. And you can see the price did continue up from there. Right, that was your bullish confirmation. Just as when the reversal starts, and you get the 50-day coming back and getting underneath the 200-day briefly here, but then rallying back on top. When it came back over and rolled back over again, when it came below it and finally flipped it, it got below the 100-day back here in December, and then it flipped and got below the 200-day permanently right here right around uh christmas time that told you the price was going to come down and oh by god did the price come down because from the time it flipped right right there it went down at its peak 69.94 percent and that's something that's very very important and that's something that is going to happen here but right now what you could get is this relief rally to maybe get you back up to that 57 maybe sneak up into this major upper resistance up here at 63 cents but the bottom part of this blue trading zone would be a better rejection area hitting that 50-day moving average as it's coming down and that could be a big hook nose right there and then you could say your pattern is just continuing from here and you can just extend this out right you can extend these out farther and you can say this pattern is just continuing down right and then the next leg to the downside is down here at 37 cents but what you want to do what you want to have happen and what you want to see most importantly and that's the daily time frame as we go into the four hourly time frame you want to get above this descending uh falling wedge or falling channel that we had uh in this continuation pattern get on top of this start to trade up hit this uh top part bottom part of this blue trading zone and then when you hit that you want to have a little consolidation and then have a forceful pump with some decent volume locally and then hold it as support and then continue up and try to breach the top part of this overhead resistance, right? That's what you want to see to get bullish or else this is just a big, long, bearish continuation pattern 
on a bearish sentiment and bearish momentum that has taken over ever since the euphoria wore off after the great judge and the next move down. Oh, the next big, big move down before new highs, local new highs, is I think you're double bottoming and then you're going to trade and then you're going to flush down into this 36, 37 cent major underneath support that we were talking about at nauseum for the better part of a year. And then that's where it gets tricky. That's where it gets interesting. And that's where it becomes more of my immediate uh, brain tickling area, because if it breaches that, hits into this 28 to 32 cent red VP volume indicator, that is when everything gets tricky. That is when everyone's got to be on alert because if you have a huge bounce off of that, you could have a huge rally off of that. Or you could have a little rally, hit some overhead resistance, and then actually flush this 28 cents and get bearish below the VP volume indicator for the first time in a very, 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 very long time as we zoom out into the daily time frame on the wave off machine. Uh, there we go. If we zoom out on the way left machine into the daily time frame, and we got to zoom way, way out. The last time we slipped below this area, it was way back on the way left machine, consolidating coming off of that 2018 January uh, all-time high. We slipped below it for the first time, came back up on a retest and got rejected in early September, right? In early September. And let's look what happened after the early September. I clicked out of that on accident. So this is going to take a couple seconds to load because I have a shitty, shitty uh, uh, hotel internet. But let's take a look at what happened here when it slipped below it finally for the first time and then got rejected on a bearish confirmation. Right there, we got the rejection. And what happened from that point? We continued and accelerated to the downside from that point and we capitulated down 67% after the coin was already down, I don't know, 60, 50% at that point. Very important things, very important information. Like, subscribe, and share my beautiful, lovely, glowing audience. Peace and love.